hey guys welcome back to my channel this is angel from simply angel tier for this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to make these wrist warmers here okay these are fingerless gloves that i made as you can see i've already completed making a pair in this color here it's just some yarn i had left over and because i'm making up the pattern as i go i decided to try it with this yarn first and if i liked it i would go ahead and make it in my favorite color hence why we have this red yarn here so this is what i'm gonna be using to make these on video with you guys but it's pretty much gonna be just like these ones that i have on except they will be in my favorite color which is this red color here okay so let me go ahead and take these off so i can show you guys how to do it all right so this yarn here uh it is from i believe it's pound of love this is the same yarn that i had used to make my uh, valentine's day shawl the the vestige shawl that i made in the previous video or previously so i had some leftover yarn and i decided i will make uh some matching um some matching uh, fingerless gloves like this using the leftover yarn it's just because they're nice and and sexy and red which is romantic so it would be nice to kind of wear it with that shawl whenever i want to go out on a nice date okay whenever that will be <laughs> um so this is the yarn i'm going to be using i will put all the information in the description box so you have everything that you need in case you're going to buy that particular yarn um, i will be using this five millimeter crochet hook here okay and of course i will also need a scissors just to cut my uh, strands at the end of the the project okay okay guys so to get this project started we're going to go ahead and start off with a slip stitch okay or slip knot i should say now as you can see i'm leaving a long tail here because we're going to need to sew our wrist section of these um, fingerless gloves together so just leave a little bit of yarn um, that way we can use that particular one to sew in the, um, the the part that goes on the wrist okay so i'm going to do so and i'm going to start my slip uh, slip knot by making it like this like i usually do so just to, to repeat that again i i put the yarn um over my thumb like that i slide it off Okay, pull my hook through pull the yarn back and then i let go and that's how i do my slip do my 21 uh, chains so one two three four okay and so to start the first row we're going to do single crochets but going in the back loop of our chain so as you guys see there's these little bridges here that uh, part of when you do the chain so as you see this side is a little bit flat and it has a v-shape to it when you flip it to the other side it's more bumpier and it has these little i call them bridges because as you can see there's a hole that goes uh, through it and then there's a thing that goes over looks like a bridge anyways so we're going to be doing our single crochets in those back bridges that i just showed you and we're going to work not on this final chain here but on the second one and hence why i said we will have will end up with 20 rows so we're going to go in the back loop and usually it's a little bit tricky to do this so just make sure you're going in the back loop like that okay there you go and you do your single crochet and then you go into the next stitch and do your single crochet there and so on and so forth so you're going to do oops you're going to do single crochets along your chain until you get to here so go ahead and do that when you get to this final stitch here where you'll go to the back which is this bump here come back and i will show you guys what to do in the second row okay see you in a bit okay guys so this is the end of my first row here and it's all uh, just single crochets in the back loop of my chain okay and as you can see that's how pretty much how big it is okay so that's part of my wrist that i'm making um, and as well you should have 20 stitches all together so if you have 19 then if you drop the stitch somewhere if you have 21 22 whatever if it's more than 20 then you picked up a stitch somewhere okay so go back and kind of redo your work and make sure you have 20 stitches all right so to go ahead and start our second row i'm going to do a chain one turn my work okay 
and we're going to be working in the back loop of our work and that's going to be a repeat for the next 20 uh, for the next 21 uh, rows because i'm doing 22 rows so total i'm going to go ahead and go right to the first stitch there after the chain one and we're going to do our single crochet in the back loop there and we're going to repeat this all the way until you get to the end of the row and that's pretty much what you're going to be repeating until you create the size of the wrist that you're looking to do okay now just one thing to let you guys know you're going to do the back loop until you get to the 19th stitch which is this stitch here this is going to be your 19th stitch where you're going in the back loop like this okay and then in this final stitch here i want you guys to go through both loops like this and for me this just keeps your work neat and it keeps it straight like it is on this side okay so go ahead and do that when you do so then you chain one you turn your work around and you continue to repeat this until you get to the number of rows you're looking for i am going to do 22 and when i get to 22 i will come back to show you guys how to do the next uh step okay so see you guys in a okay, bit guys so i have my 22 rows here so as you can see this is how it looks like I love this pattern you guys or this uh, stitch I should say look at how it looks it looks so cool anyways so I have my 22 rows here and this is enough for my wrist so I'm gonna be closing it off like this it may look really small you guys but like I said look at how small my wrist is and also this yarn actually stretches okay so when you do put it on you will see that it has a, it's a it, there's a lot of elasticity to it um, so you don't have to do it too loose because then it will just be too loose but anyway so you need to do it a little bit tight like this if you're using this yarn and like I said this is um, I believe it's a hundred percent premium acrylic I will give you all the information like I said in the description box and it is a um, pound of love so this yarn is super good for stretchiness so as you can see it stretches this way stretches quite a bit this way that's why you may think this is so tiny, but even though it is tiny for, for sure, it is, uh, it's actually also really stretchy, okay? Anyways, I have my darning needle here that I'm gonna be using to sew this. If you don't have a darning needle, you can use your crochet hook to kind of weave in or to shut this uh, space closed here. But since I have a darning needle, I'm gonna be using that. And I'm sorry I didn't put it at the beginning as a requirement, but if you do have it obviously you would need to use it if not then you just use your crochet hook to um, weave this section closed here okay so now that we have these i line it up like this it doesn't matter what side you line it up in you could do it like this or you could do it like this i do it like this because i'm right-handed so it's gonna make it easy for me to sew it from this angle okay so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to pick up the very first uh, stitch right here and then we're going to connect it to the other side just like that and we're going to pull there you go and it's going to shut that and i'm just going to do one more in that exact same space here oops there you go and this is just to secure it fully like that and then what we're going to do here is we're going to um weave it in by going through both loops on this side so as you can see this is one loop this is one and then we're going to go through both like this and on the opposite side we're not going to go through both like we're doing on the other side we're going to go through the back only okay so we go through both on the the stitches next to you or closest to you and on the one furthest to you you scoop the last uh, stitch or the last loop away from you okay and then you're going to pull that in and then you go to the next stitch and you do the same just like that okay and then in the next stitch you do the same okay so you're going to do these obviously all along the section here until you shut everything so the good thing with this is if you do have 20 stitches, you will have uh, an even number to shut this completely. If somehow you don't, it's okay too. You can double up in some, but I want you to go ahead and sew your work across here until you get to this. And when you get here, come back and I'll show you what to do next. See you in a bit. All right, so I am all the way at the end here. So as you can see, I have just 
uh, one more stitch which is right here to kind of join to the other side right there and I'll just do one more to just make sure as well because this is the last one so I'm just gonna go here and then come back on the other side just like so okay so that's pretty much it here so we have done so and I'm going to just uh, quickly weave these in here and close it and then we'll cut the excess yarn off here oops there you go all right we'll cut the excess yarn off here and then we will go ahead and move on to the next step of this project okay that's a little bit loose so I need to bring it back out I need to make sure it's right to the actual work itself so I need to go tighter like that and then we're going to pull it okay there you go and then I'm going to grab my scissors and cut that off right there there you go and so your work is shut like this okay so this is where we just joined as you can see it is right here just a quick FYI you guys you can tell I skipped a stitch right here you see this there's a little bit of a gap bigger gap here than the rest right here I think I skipped this stitch right here but that's okay it's so small that it's not you know that visible and it's not something that I need to go back and fix it but anyways this is how it looks so I'm just gonna put these on really quick so you guys can see how this wristband it looks like a wristband anyways so that's how it looks so far so then what I'm doing is I'm going to build up the rest of the work here okay so as you can see it comes high up on my uh, on my wrist by the way if you're looking to do wristband it's probably a good stitch to do that as well but you probably do it a little bit smaller like this anyways I digress but let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, to the next step here so we still have our work connected to the yarn like this okay so I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and I think I lost something here but it's okay we're gonna we're just gonna work that into the work anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do next so now that you have that we're going to do a chain one and then in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and in the next stitch right here we're going to do another single crochet and on top of this here we're going to do a single crochet so I'll just show you what I'm talking about this work is different because it's, it's a little bit um, hard to find out where the stitches are so what I do as you can see I did a stitch right on top of this section right there the next one I'm going to do in this little valley here right here okay the next one is going to go on top here which is the top of this rib here the next one is gonna go here so that's how I'm doing it is it goes up here goes down here goes up here goes down here and we're going to go ahead and do single crochets all around this at the top here until you come back to this section when you get back here come back and I'll show you guys how to move on to the next step see you in a bit okay so I did my single crochet all along this uh, hole up here and as you can see I did my last one here and I'm going to do one more right here okay so this is pretty much our final stitch right here of single crochet and I'm just going to make sure I capture the little strand that was hanging as well just like that okay so that's my last one there and then I'm going to chain one and for this next row I'm going to do half double crochet okay so I'm going to start off with that right there and it's right in the next stitch and then I'm going to do the next which is half double crochet in the next stitch right there and then another half double crochet in the next stitch and this is going to be what I repeat all along as well so I'm going to go around this circle when I come back here I will go ahead and so you go sorry go ahead and do the single half double crochets all around when you come back right here where we just started the second row here come back and I'll show you what to do next okay guys so I am um, done with this uh, first row of half double crochet so like you can see this is where I started off here and it's also where we sewed uh, our wrist section shut so that's an, a way to keep um, I guess keep your uh, count of your work is you will see that this is where you sewed it even though to be honest it doesn't look too obvious 
but for me because i know what i did i can tell that this is why i sewed the work shut okay so that's the first row of the half double crochet and i'm going to count that as the first row as well of building up our hand portion of this uh glove okay so now that i'm here i am pretty much going to continue by doing the half double crochet past this so we no longer need to do the chain one because we just want to create it's going to just end up being a round work so i'm going to continue to do this and this is my second row okay and what i will do is i'll go ahead and do five rows total of this and when i get to my row number five i will come back and show you guys how to move on to the next step so go ahead and do we just did one and i just started my second so i'm going to go ahead and do four more when i get to number five i'll come back to show you guys how to move on to the next okay guys so i completed my fifth row here and this is just i went around and brought my sixth row um around so this is actually my row number six if i can th i think one two three four five six yeah so this is my sixth row here so you do five complete rounds and then the row number six you bring it around and this is where we're going to do something a little bit different so this is where we're going to create where our thumb is going okay so these rows here is five rows or i should say six uh, five rows and six with the one that's coming around and then the sixth one is where we're going to create our thumb space okay so and as you can see this is where we joined our work right here right here this line in between these two big ones this is where we joined our work and this is exactly the middle so i have one two three stitches before i get to the middle okay so one two three and it's in the middle and then one two three to the other side so i am going to do a chain of six so one two three four five six and then i skip six spaces so one two three four five six and in this seventh one here i am going to do my uh, slip stitch okay so i'm going to slip stitch in my sixth space here oops just like that okay so there you go so that's how we're creating our thumb space right here and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to go ahead and continue to do our half double crochets just like we've been doing all around our hand gap here okay so we're going to continue to do this so go ahead and do the the uh the half double crochet like you've been doing until you get to here when you get to this final stitch before the chain six come back and i will show you guys what to do next okay lovelies so i am at the end of my row here and this is where my chain starts as well so as you can see what i will do i just did my half double crochet here and what i'll do now is i'll do my next half double crochet in the first chain that we created here okay and then i'm going to continue doing my half double crochets in each stitch along this chain six that i created in the previous row so as you can see i'm just going to do that and just make sure you're holding your chain uh your that chain straight so that it's not crooked and it's gonna make your work look off so we're just gonna go right in here okay so we're just going to do our half double crochets along this chain six there you go and then the final one is gonna go right there and then finally into the next stitch that is not the chain six right there okay and then you're just going to continue doing the regular half double crochets all along here okay and you're going to continue to do this all around and when you come here you just continue like you have been doing uh before and you're going to go ahead and do uh let me see i just want to make sure i remember how many rows i did so one two three four five six seven 
So you're going to do seven rows of the half double crochet after where you created your thumb space and then come back and I'll show you how to do a final row. So there's a, uh, the eighth row after that that we're going to do and then come back and I'll show you guys how to finish off your work and be done. Okay, so see you guys in a bit. Okay, lovelies. So this is the eighth row or the sorry, the seventh row I just did here. As you can see, I stopped right in the middle which is right here, the middle of our work, which continues to where we sewed the work shut here. And so for this final row, I'm going to pretty much go from doing the half double crochet to doing a single crochet. So as you can see, we're just going to go ahead and do a single crochet and we're going to go all the way around until we come back to that spot, okay? And we're doing this final single crochet just to bring your work in a little bit like this as you can see it kind of folds inward and it's a little bit of a tighter stitch and it's also because when you look at your hand right your hand your wrist is thinner and then as you go towards your actual hand it gets wider right here okay so this is much wider than this section and then it gets thinner as it goes towards your four fingers okay so what we're doing is we're just kind of ending our work right here but because it's a little bit thinner than here we bring it up a little bit so that it's not too loose on the fingers so that is what we're doing and this is as you can see what i did on this one as well okay so just fyi as to where we're finally doing a final stitch of a single crochet just to make sure our work at the end there is a little bit tighter okay so go ahead and do this final row of the single crochet until you come back to the middle right here and then we will pretty much end our work so i'll see you guys in a bit all right so i reached the end here and as you can see this was my first uh single crochet here and what i'll do is in this next stitch is i'll just do a slip stitch just like that and then we're done so i'm gonna grab my scissors so we can cut that off i'm just gonna cut it off right there and then we're going to pull that through just like that okay so that's our final stitch right there and as you can see it's right in the middle okay and what i will do to weave it in is i'll just kind of bring it into this side using my uh, crochet hook i'll bring it here and i will knot this guy right here to just kind of finish it off we'll do another knot or two that's one i'll just do one more and two and then we'll go ahead and snap that off right there and then we will just kind of tuck that in so there you go so this is one of my um fingerless wrist warmers as you can see here okay that's how it looks like i'll try it on so you see how it looks like okay there you go so it fits just right need i say it fits just like a glove it fits really perfectly my hands are super comfortable and flexible but i'll show you guys one more thing that i do which you don't have to but i do when i do my uh, gloves like this i actually let this side where i worked in to be my inside and it's just because I prefer, I feel like the work is a little bit knitter on the opposite side, but it could just be me. But anyways, if you look at it on this side, it looks really nice and cleaner too, because as you can tell, this is where I put my knot here and it's on this other side. So it's not visible to this side at all, but it could just be me. So you do what you want to do. But anyways, so this is it here. So my first glove is done. As you can see, this is that stitch that I told you I missed. It's very visible, but uh, it's not a big deal for it not to be left like that. But just, just, just to let you guys know to be careful when you're joining your work to make sure that you're grabbing every single stitch because otherwise you leave a gap like that. But nevertheless, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not too big. It's not going to cause any troubles. But this is my first fingerless glove here. So I want you guys to go ahead and produce your second one and you pretty much just have to repeat this video from the beginning, follow it again if you don't remember the steps and then create your second one that is a pretty much a duplicate of this 
and then you will be done so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same off camera i'm gonna create my second glove and when i get to the end of the second one i will come back to show you guys the end product and then we'll be done with the video okay okay my friends welcome back so i am coming back to show you my second glove that i just made which is this one here so as you can see it's the exact uh, duplicate of the first one that I made okay that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so make sure you also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and with all of that said thank you so much i hope you guys take care of yourself and i'll see you guys in my next video all right ciao, ciao.